What's going on everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Fallout 76 video. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you something extremely unordinary in the game. I don't know if this is cut content or what, but there are some mysterious things that are outside the map. And I'm sure there's more than what I'm about to be showing you because there is a lot to explore out of the borders of the game. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this now. First things first, where you find these mysterious things that are outside the map will be located right up here near the top right of the map, right by where this compass is. So this is where we're gonna be glitching outside the map at. And in order to do that, you're gonna to have to place a camp down around this area or place a survival tent. Actually, since I'm talking about up around here, there's a really good spot around in this area right here where you can make a pretty unique treehouse camp. I made a video over this a while back in the past. I'll have a link in the description to that video if you wanna check out that camp build because who knows, you may want to make a treehouse for yourself. Anyways, yeah, as you can see, I'm right around here on the map, and all you have to do, place a camp, or you can use a survival tent if you are a part of Fallout first. As you can see, I can place it right here. I'm gonna get as far back as I can, where it's up against the invisible barrier here. Okay, so once you got that placed, next step, <laughs> believe it or not, is to go into a nuclear winter match. I know. That's kind of odd. I'm pretty sure this is in the right location. I hope it is. I guess we're about to find out. Before I go ahead and find out, though, let me go ahead and show you that there is an invisible barrier. Wait, what? As you can see, there it is. Okay, so, you know what? I'm going to place the camp back a little further where the invisible barrier is at. Oh, come on. Let me place it. Oh, there it goes think this may be far enough back. Try at the barrier. That should be good. So yeah, next step is to just simply quit out of the game and go into a nuclear winter match. Keep in mind also to choose the not fill your team before entering so you don't screw over your teammates because you're going to have to die within the match. I know, it's kind of a weird process to do this. Okay, just going to run in the fire. That I do it. Yep, I'm dead. I had no idea I was wearing a pink suit. All right. Okay, so now the next part is pretty self-explanatory. We just have to rejoin the server and we should be able to surpass the invisible barrier. I'm hoping it works, fingers crossed. I don't know exactly if my camp was close enough or not. Well, my survival tent. Fingers crossed this works. Well, this is some good news. I actually spawned behind my survival tent. I think it did. Yep. Bada bing, bada boom. As you can see, I am officially outside the invisible barriers in Fallout 76. That is insane. This is so cool. I love little secrets like this. I love exploring out of bounds in games. And sometimes developers leave little secrets like this on purpose for players that manage to escape outside of the uh, barriers of the game. So who knows, maybe Bethesda purposely added this stuff in the game for us to discover. You never know. They have done that in the past before. Go ahead and eat a little bit. I don't really have much to eat. Oh well, it's all good. So it seems like the first area that we're going to be heading to is um, right around here. As you can see, here we are at the uh, first location. Just some really random things here. Now I will mention I did come here previously and I picked up a few things. Um, as you can see, there's some waste oil here. On the table, there was some goodies in this large toolbox previously that I found. This Tinker's Workbench that's here. Really, really random Tinker's Workbench. That's how this was even discovered in the first place. This was on map76.com, just randomly outside of the map. We got a restricted area. Unauthorized persons keep out. I mean, that makes sense. We are out of bounds. And this mannequin here did have some goggles on him welding goggles. As you can see, this mannequin is still wearing them because I didn't pick them up previously. I just did now though. And this monkey right here, <laughs> holding an extinguisher, had a fireman's helmet on it. I'll go ahead and equip that real quick for those of you that may be wondering about it. Yeah, I found this back here. Pretty unique helmet. I'm pretty sure you can purchase this though from one of the White Springs vendors, by the way. For those of you that don't want to really go out here. But for those of you that do, um, there is a fireman helmet. 
on this spooky looking monkey. Gosh, these things give me the creeps. Um, but, uh, so yeah, that's that. Over here, we got another keep out sign. Once again, more keep out signs, private property, no trespassing. I don't know if the developers are going to keep this into the game or not. I think, once again, this could be something that the developers implemented on purpose, like I was mentioning before. Bethesda does have a history over doing that in their previous games. And look at this random flamethrower trap. Like, who's going to be triggering this trap back here? What is this meant for? And how is this even powered? Oh, no, don't kill me. Oh, that would be so sad. You know, I'm going to go ahead and blow it up. Why not? So random. And for those of you that are wondering, well, can you place a camp back here or something? No, you can't. I think you used to be able to. I'm not really sure. I think sometime in the future that this glitch may be patched out. So if you want to take advantage of this while you can, I suggest doing it now. Because eventually Bethesda may patch this out of the game. Who knows, though? They could leave this in. They could leave this in just to have like a little secret to find outside of the map. I should say secrets because I'm going to be showing you another thing here soon. But yeah, here's a porta potty too. Nothing too significant in here. Some loose screws you can loot. Okay, so now let's go ahead and head to the next area that's been found outside of the map. Okay, so as you can see, here we are at the little shanty town. <laughs> Guess you could call it. I'm hungry. I know. I don't have any food on me, okay? Parasites are getting to me. Daggone it. I know that's bothering some of you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So yeah, let's go ahead and head into this place first. As you can see, there's a random American flag outside of this building here with a little lantern hanging from the outside. And inside here, we got some pork and beans in the fridge. And just starting out there, what you see in here for me could be totally different for you all. Like I found before a doll here on this bed. I found a few different things inside here as you can see when I came here previously. When I was just doing some exploration for myself before making the video. I should have just recorded my first reaction over coming back here. But yeah, there's also a bunch of random pillows on this bed too. It looks as if someone was, you know, camping out back here. It'd be so creepy if some random wastelanders came here and was just like, hey, get off our property and just started blasting on us or something. That'd be crazy. Anyways, over here I thought was really interesting inside this um, little outhouse here. As you can see, there's a poster here that has Pioneer Scout's guidebook on it, Ever Upwards, which this was way back in the day, but who knows, maybe this is kind of saying like pioneers lived at this area. I don't know. That could be a little too far-fetched, but it's kind of weird that this is here. Also, you could sit down in this outhouse seat, and no mole rat comes up and bites you in the butt. Like, as we know, that uh, camp outhouse that we got a while back, a mole rat pops up out of the seat. I don't know if any of y'all got that or not. <laughs> but, yeah, that's what's going on there. And, and here we got just a few random things, like wood scraps and... Once again, what you see during this footage could be different for you. Is this a seat that we can actually sit on? Yes, it is. We can actually interact with this. <laughs> this is so random. Why? Why is this out here? What purpose does this serve? Is this cut content? Or does Bethesda have plans to eventually expand the map? As you can see, this is where we are located at on the map. Who knows, maybe Bethesda has plans sometime far in the future to expand the map. Or this could just be cut content and they decide not to have the map that large. I don't really know why this is out here. Huh. That's just pretty cool. I just noticed this. It's like little flags on the side here. Someone was having a little celebration out here or something. You see we have some tables over here where they could be having their crops at or whatever. But uh, yeah, that's all that's really in this area. There's supposedly supposed to be a bottle cap stash somewhere around here. But once again, I was not able to find it. Who knows? Maybe if you all come out here and explore for yourself, you might be able to find it. And if you do, 
possibly leave it in the comment section. It's gonna bother me. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of exploring and see if I can find anything else just by randomly exploring around. I'll catch you guys in a minute. I'll let you all know if I find something. I'm sure you guys don't want to just see me running, especially since there's not much detail around out here whatsoever. I'm glad I got those pork and beans though because I was actually hungry. That came in handy. Nice. It'll make me be able to run a little bit longer. Uh, okay guys. As you can see, I made it out on the West Virginia sign. Look what I discovered out here. Just a random huge body of water. It looks so weird. It looks like there's an island in the middle of this too. Does this give radiation? Yes, it definitely gives radiation. Let me go ahead and use a Radex. Maybe, maybe that'll help a little. Jeez. Go, go, go. Don't die. Don't die. Come on. I wish I would have brought a rat away. This is so random though. Why is this out here? Does Bethesda ever have plans to use this? Alright, yeah. I guess that's all I'm really seeing out here in the middle of nowhere. If you want to do a little bit of exploration yourself, once again, I already showed you all how you can do this glitch. But yeah, I'm out of here, everyone. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, maybe consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like. That's always greatly appreciated. Until next time, though, peace.